Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 12th video tutorial in the Python series and in this video I'll be explaining you about if-else statements. So let us understand that what are if-else statements. If-else statements are the conditional statements which compare two or more data and then test the results. If the result is true, then part is executed, otherwise the else part is executed. So let me explain this with the help of a flowchart here. Uh, for like right now, let us assume that the condition A is 11 is less than 10. We know that 11 is less than 10 is a false statement. So when we check the condition A, which is 11 less than 10, it first checks the condition. And if it is true, then it executes B. Otherwise, if it is false, it executes C. So in this case, since our if statement is false, so the then part won't be executed. So it goes to the else part and executes the C statement. So this is the way in which if else statements work. Now let me explain you about if statements. You might have seen that I have used if statements in my previous videos to check whether a particular element was there in a tuple or a list or anything like that. Now let me assign a variable a with 50 and then b equal to 10. Now the condition which I want to check here is using if. I'll first write if and then write the condition that a is greater than b. Then you should write colon enter and then you should insert a white space or tab for indentation purpose and then you can do uh, whatever you want uh, or whatever the task you wanted you want to be executed if the condition is true so here what i'm doing is i'm checking that if a is greater than b which is true because a is 50 and b is 10 and if this condition is true then it will print true in the output now let us check that if we if we don't insert tab or any white space, uh, what do we get as the output? So for that we'll save and python if.py We get indentation error. This is because um, in other programming languages we use brackets or anything curly braces etc to show that these codes belong uh, belong to a particular statement that uh, it means that if this condition is true you should execute these statements for example if you uh, see other programming languages you'll have something like uh, some more statements or syntax or codes then which will be enclosed within brackets so this suggests that if this condition is true you need to execute all these statements but in python uh, we don't use curly braces so we need to take care that when we write the statements, we should insert a tab to tell the compiler that these are the statements to be executed if this condition is true. Now we'll check if and elif statements. If and elif. For that we'll take variable a um, and give it the value of 50 and then b and we'll give it the value of 50. Now suppose we want to check the con first condition that a is less than b and if a is less than b we want to print that uh, b is greater okay here you see that both are equal so this condition fails so what should we do if this condition fails so for that we use elif or else elif is used when you want um, when you want other conditions to be checked for example here i want that uh, i want to check the condition a equal to equal to b and if that is true i want to print that both are equal okay so now let me check what will i get the output here here okay here first uh, this condition is checked which is false so it goes to the elif part and checks whether a and b are equal and since both are equal this condition becomes true and the print statement here will be executed and here we get this as the output. 
now what with what would have happened if both these statements are if both these conditions are false so then we require one more condition to be checked which can which we can do using the elif but what if all the conditions in if and elif part fails so that time we use uh, a default uh, a statement to be executed by using the else so when none of these statements is true the else part will be executed and i'll write here print um, a is greater okay now i'll make this value as 60 here what happens it will check if a is less than b which is false so it will go to the elif part and check if a and b are equal and which is false so finally it will come to the else part and print that a is greater now let us save this and execute and as predicted we have the output that a is greater so this is the way in which we can use else if and elif now suppose that you want to compare more than two conditions or and like many conditions at a time then what you can do is uh, let me assign a variable c here for that c equal to 10 i'm writing this just to show an example and i want to check the condition if a is greater than b and b is greater than c then then only i want to pr uh, print some stuff like hello world what this will do is it will check this condition and this condition if both the conditions are true then only it will print hello world otherwise it won't be printed and what you need to take care is that um, yeah you don't need to take care uh, i mean uh, you can use um, apart from and you can use or and not and all those things to compare and check your conditions and you can manipulate uh, like as many as conditions you want in your if statements or elif or else part like that so that's it for this tutorial uh, thanks for watching my videos and hope to see you in the next video thank you